you can draw this in Procreate Pocket. This is You Can Draw This, the Procreate Pocket Edition. In this You Can Draw This video, we will only be using the brushes that are already in the app, and I will walk you through every single step. Because drawing on your phone in Procreate Pocket is a lot harder than drawing on an iPad in the regular Procreate, I have tried to make some really simple steps. So if you want to create an iris like this one on your phone, then be sure to watch the video until the end. And once you're done, share your work on Instagram and tag me in the image. That way I will be able to find your work and maybe you will see your artwork in the next You Can Draw This video. Let's get started. As always, I have created a color palette, which you can download through the link in the description. But of course, you can also just use whatever color you like. And our canvas, that's 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels. So let's grab our pen or your finger and let's get started. First thing we'll do is drop a color onto our background. Go to the layer menu and click background color or tap it with your finger and use the first color in the color palette. It is a grayish bluish tone because if you look at the white of an eye, you will see that it's not exactly white. So that's why we fill our background with this color. And now we will continue on layer one. Click done. And for our brush, we will grab the monoline brush, which you can find under calligraphy. Click done again. And we'll go to the color palette and select this second color, this bright blue color. Click done again. And next we'll draw a circle on our canvas. Hold your pen in place and then tap one finger on your screen to make it snap to a perfect circle. Now you can drag in the color like this to fill your shape. Now, if you want to make sure that your circle is in the exact center of your canvas, you can go to modify, then to this arrow, and then go to settings. Now click fit the screen to have your entire canvas filled with this circle. Now click on the circle, and while you have it set to uniform, you can pinch with your fingers to make it a bit smaller. Like that. Now we can go back to the brush. We are going to make a new layer, so go to the layer menu and click new layer. On this layer, we will be drawing the pupil. First click done. Then we'll go to the colors and pick this third color. Select done. And we will make another circle. Hold your pen in place again to make it snap to a circle and hold one finger on your screen to make it snap to that perfect circle. And fill it by dragging in the color. This looks a little bit weird. Of course, we want our pupil to be in the exact center as well. So we can just repeat the steps that we used for the iris as well. So we'll go to modify, click that arrow, go to settings and select fit to screen. Now, of course, we, we will want to make it a bit smaller than this. So click that circle and again, be sure that you have it set to uniform and then just pinch with your fingers to make it smaller. And now you can just select the brush to get out of this menu. For our next step, we'll want to add some texture to our iris. We'll have to go to the layer menu, click layer one, and make a new layer on top. And we will clip this layer to that iris layer. Click the layer and then select clipping mask. Now this layer is clipped to layer one. And that means that whatever we paint on this new layer will only show up on that circle that we created on layer one. Do make sure that you only have that circle on layer one and that you haven't filled the background on that layer. You just need that circle and everything else needs to be transparent. For our brush, let's go to the artistic brushes and select turpentine. 
Now click done and let's select another color. We will use this fourth color in our color palette and then click done. Let me make the brush a little bit bigger. Something like this. Unfortunately, there aren't any percentages in Procreate Pocket, so you'll just have to eyeball it. And then let's create a pattern on our iris. And just make sure that you go from the center to the outside. So right here, those lines will be perfectly vertical. And when you go to the right, it'll be horizontal. Bit like a star shape. And you can switch up the color. You can also grab this darker blue color. And let's make the brush a little bit smaller. And make some more lines to the outside. Next, I would like to blur this texture that we just created. We'll do that by going to Modify. Click this magic wand, that's the Adjustments menu. And then go to Perspective Blur. Now keep this circle right in the center of your pupil. And slide to the right on your screen. You have to make multiple strokes to get it to 100%. But I want to blur it even more, so we'll go to the magic wand again and select Perspective Blur a second time and blur it again. Now I would like to work on the edge of the iris. As you can see, it is a very sharp outline right now. But if you look at a real eye, if you take a look at your own iris, you will see that that edge, it's not a hard line. It's actually a soft a yeah, pretty soft transition. So we'll have to go to that iris layer, that's layer one, and we'll want to blur that a little bit. Click done, go to modify, and then to the magic wand again, but this time we will use Gaussian blur. Slide to the right, and let's go for around 18%. I think that looks better. And when you take another look at your iris, you will see that the outside of the iris is often a bit darker than the center. Well, not the exact center because the pupil is, of course, very dark, but you have this dark outline. Let's create that as well. We'll go to the layer menu again. First click layer three and now make a new layer on top. And we'll clip this to layer one again. So click the layer and select clipping mask. And for this layer, we will change the layer blending mode. You can do that by clicking on the N and we'll set this to multiply. What this does is when we paint on this layer, it'll darken everything underneath it. So it'll darken that pattern that we just created, but we will still see that pattern. Click done. And we will use an airbrush. Go to your brushes, then to airbrushing and use the soft brush. Click done and we will keep it at this dark blue color. Let's check my brush size. It's a bit like this. Sorry, I can't tell you any percentages. You'll just have to guess a bit and the opacity. I've lowered it a little bit. And now let's go along the edges of the iris. Darkening up the outer edges. And 
And to make this transition a bit softer, you could go to modify, click the magic wand and use a slight Gaussian blur. So just slide to the right and blur it a little bit. Let's say 30%. And let's say you want to darken this effect a little bit. Then you can go to the layer menu, slide to the left on this multiply layer and click duplicate. Now you have a second multiply layer. And as you can see, the effect is a lot darker now. I think this is too much. So we can go to the layer, click the M and then select opacity. Now you can use the slider and slide to the left to lower the opacity of this layer. Let's set it to around 30. Now, if you grab your mirror again and take another look at your eye, at your iris and pupil, you will also see that the pupil isn't a perfect crisp line circle either. You will see that muscle, you will see that iris because it contracts when there's a lot of light and it'll, it'll open up when there isn't a lot of light. So you can see those creases between those muscles. So let's create that as well to get a more realistic look. We'll have to go to the layer with the pupil to do that. That's layer two, click done. And to make it easier for ourselves to make this a quick process, we will use the symmetry tool. Go to modify, then to the wrench. Then we'll go to canvas and turn on drawing guide. And now go to edit drawing guide. We'll select symmetry and then go to settings and you can click radial and then just click done. And now we are going to use the smudge tool. That's that little finger here at the top and set it to wet acrylic. You can find that brush under artistic. The opacity of the brush is at 100% and the size is somewhere around this. And now let's drag that dark of the iris. Let's drag it to the outside a bit. Just like with the texture that we created on the iris, make these strokes going outward. You can zoom in a little bit more and you can play around with the size of your brush. You can make it a bit bigger to make some bigger creases. And now let's zoom out to take a look. I think that looks a lot better. For our next step, we will create another layer again. So we'll go to the layer menu and we will put a new layer between the texture and those multiply layers. Click new layer and we will set this layer to add. So we'll click the N and then select add. An add layer will add light actually. Whatever we will paint on this, if we paint with a light color, it'll lighten up that texture that is underneath. So let's just do it and you will see. For our color, we will pick the light blue again. That's the second color in the color palette. Click done. And we will still be using the soft brush under airbrushing. Oh, and let's just turn off that drawing guide. We don't need that anymore. So we'll go to the wrench and turn off the drawing guide. Do be aware though, that even though the drawing guide is off, if you go to the layers, you will see that layer two still has assisted turned on. That means that if you start painting on layer two, symmetry will still be active there. Not that we are going to paint on that layer, but well, just for your information. 
Perhaps you have had some issues in Procreate where you could only draw straight lines on a layer when you had a drawing guide, when you had used a drawing guide and you thought you had turned it off, but you could still only paint straight lines. Do check your layer and see if it has assist to turn on. That might be the issue. Now let's lighten up this lower left side of our iris. Just glazing over it. And to get more control over this effect, you can go to the layer, click the A, and then use opacity. Now you can just use the slider to make the effect less visible. So you can go to around 65%, for example. Now I'd like to add even more light touches. So I want to make a new layer. So I'll go to the layer menu, click new layer, and let's set this layer to add as well, because I want to add some light details. And for our brush, I will use the turpentine brush again under artistic. Let's make it pretty small, perhaps something like this. I'll zoom in just a little bit and I'll just make some wigglies, some wiggly shapes on that iris just to add some more interesting texture. And just like with the other iris texture, you can go to modify and to the magic wand and use a slide perspective blur. So keep it at that center and slide to the right a little bit. And let's go for around 30%. Now, finally, I would like to add a highlight to our iris. Let's get out of this menu by clicking the brush and now let's make a new layer for the highlight. So go to the layer menu. First click that pupil layer so we are at the top. And now click new layer for a new layer. And then click done. For our color, we will be using this last color in the color palette. Click done. And go back to the monoline brush. And you can find that under calligraphy. First thing we'll do is create a circle again. Hold your pen in place to snap to the quick shape tool. And you can use edit shape right here at the top and move around these handles to create an oval that fits your iris. I want to go for something like this. Let's drag in the color to fill our shape. Next, I would like to remove some parts of this circle, oval, highlight. And we'll do that by using a layer mask. We'll go to the layer menu, click this new layer, and then select mask. Now there is a layer mask attached to layer eight with the highlight on it. Right now the layer mask is all white, which means that you can see everything on layer eight. There's no mask right now. But as soon as you start painting with black on the layer mask, you will start blocking parts of layer eight. Start masking these. So let's do that. We have black selected right now and we still have that monoline brush. Now let's draw a circle. Hold your pen in place. So right now we are painting on that layer mask. Go to edit shape. And just like with the normal layer, you can move around the shape until you have something that you like. Something like this. I'll drag in the black to fill it. Let's paint some more on this layer mask. Let's remove or mask some other parts of that highlight. And you can just create a shape here, even though you can't see it. You can create a shape kinda by feeling if you make a long line going through that highlight, 
it's pretty easy to make a closed shape. So do be sure to close your shape before you try to fill it. So if you paint with black on the layer mask, you will mask parts of the layer that the mask is attached to. But you can also paint on it with gray, with a mid-tone gray, and then the layer below will be partially masked. Let's go to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush. And this one is set to a pretty low opacity, which means that if we paint with it, it'll turn up pretty much gray. So if we paint on this layer mask, we can partially block that highlight. So let's do that right here. Glazing over that highlight. And of course you can also do the reverse thing. If you select white for your color, you can make parts of that layer appear again. And that way layer masks give you a lot of control. But for now, that was all the control we needed because our iris is finished. I hope you enjoyed following this You Can Draw This Procreate Pocket Edition. If you want to see more videos like this one, then be sure to let your voice be heard and let me know in the comment section. Oh, and for all of you who have been following my You Can Draw This videos on their iPhones, I have so much respect for you. Thanks for following this tutorial. I will see you next time.